On this episode, I'm going to be speaking to a serial entrepreneur, and she's going to give you some tips today. Hello, I'm Shannon Skinner, and this is Extraordinary Women TV. Joining me in the studio is Laura Harris. She's the owner and operator of the Nurse Next Door Home Care Services here in Toronto Central. And you'll meet her in a moment. Later in the interview, before we take a break, I'll have my regular Good to Know Minute when I ask my guests for their top success tip. You'll hear Laura's. Well, Laura Harris, welcome to the show. Thank you, Shannon. Well, it's nice having you here. Now, you're a serial entrepreneur. You've had a number of businesses uh, throughout your career. Mm -hmm. um, but your latest business, or, or the most recent business, is uh, Nurse Next Door uh, Home Care Services. Um, Let's talk a little bit about that and, and what it is. It's um, private home care. We offer all levels of nursing care from uh, personal support workers to registered nurse level up to um, a few hours a day or a week up to 24 hours, seven days a week, depending on what our clients need. Uh, now, you, you started your career as a nurse. That's correct. So. At some point, so you were a nurse for a number of years, and then you started your own businesses. So at some point in your mind, um, you decided that you were going to make a shift. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's different going from medical field to business, but you did it. So how did you do it? Did you have to start believing in yourself in a different way, or how did you actually make that leap? Um, I think you have to just put yourself out there, but you also have to have a, a backup plan. So when I was going through school, I was going to university, going through to be a nurse, and I started working as a nurse. But what I was also doing at the time was working part-time in, in the customer service industry as a hostess. And um, at that time, there was just a certain niche in the market that opened up that I recognized that was not in nursing, altogether in a different field in customer service. And that's when I put myself out there. I left nursing and went into the business world and developed the company and, you know, brought that up and today I'm still operating that company along with a few other companies and now my interests are turned towards going back into the nursing field into an industry that I really think needs um, a lot of change and it's something that in the future everybody should be considering and thinking about and I think it's something that um, when I went into Nurse Next Door it was home care service but I really wanted to raise the bar on home care and I wanted to do it differently and there are a lot of different things that I brought in from my past experiences that I thought I could offer to seniors today in their homes in Toronto. And really the important thing is, is the best thing that I learned in customer service would be to always treat the client like a client and give them that VIP treatment and not just as, um, they're not patients, the seniors are clients to me. And the real key here is matching our employees, which are the caregivers, with the clients. And that's what I've just seen is missing in the marketplace today, and there's more concentration on that than I think the seniors will want to live out their life longer in their homes. And they can do that with dignity and respect if we can just give them a little help with providing them with the best matched caregiver possible that's out there for them that they'll be happy with. And so, so what kind of services, uh, how does it work? Um, um, it's everything from home care, from as simple as um, making, you know, meals, um, right. you know, not just sandwiches and soup, but an actual, you know, gourmet meals, to light housekeeping, to helping them with the activities of daily living, to companionship in the sense that to taking them out for walks, um, helping them do things that they really haven't done in a long time, um, building their self-esteem, empowering them, doing things with them as opposed to doing things for them. It's almost like it's developing fr relationships then. Absolutely. It's all about relationship building and not just a task oriented. Now, this is a franchise mm -hmm. then that you purchased. Um, so how does that work as, as someone who owns a franchise? Well, we work with head office for Nurse Next Doors in Vancouver and they've been um, operating there for several years and now it's fairly newer in the Toronto area. It's only a few years old. So the franchise, I looked at different franchises. I looked at starting a company on my own. I looked at the different pros and cons to everything. And I went with Nurse Next Door because they were in a line with my vision and my core values of what I'd like to bring to the table and what I'd like to deliver out there in a home care service. And as I said, it's really about raising the bar in home care and, and making a difference and doing something different out there. 
and then the franchise when I lined with Nurse Next Door that was that was my goal and that's what I think I'm, I'm trying to do out there and I'd like to hope that I'm succeeding at that. And you have, um, your husband uh, is involved in this business with you. Mm -hmm. and He's on the... Mike the Harris, the former, just, just so people know, Mike Harris, the former Premier of Ontario. Uh, he's uh, in cahoots with you on this business. He's very supportive. That's probably the number one yeah. um, gem that I can put out there is that uh, he's always supportive and uh, gives me an opportunity to brainstorm at night sometimes and, and throw ideas off of him. He's on the back end in the, in the sense that he's more of a consultant in the company than hands-on. But it's um, very important to have a supportive spouse at home and supportive family at home to anything that you're going to do because that's um, the key to success, I believe. Of all the things that you've done, what has satisfied your heart the most? Probably my family. You know, um, I keep doing things. I haven't stopped. I haven't slowed down. Uh, if anything, the kids are getting older now that it enables me to put myself back out there. And uh, I'm going back to my roots with nursing again that I started with. I'm going back there with Nurse Next Door. And it's important for me to set an example for my kids. That How many um, kids do you have? Between my husband and I, we have five kids between 13 and 28. So they're all at the perfect age now that you know, we can live through example and they can see me starting a business from the beginning and see me put myself out there and working hard, knocking on doors, building relationships and what it basically takes is hard work and sometimes it means you give up weekends, you give up evenings and, and you're working for things but uh, I think it's a good uh, message to put out there for the kids to see. So then Laura, um you have, uh, I know that you've got some great uh, entrepreneurial advice then for those uh, who are watching, the viewers who are watching, who you know, perhaps they're young entrepreneurs themselves or, or would like to become an entrepreneur. Maybe they have a job and they want to, to um, jump ship and start their own business. Uh, I know that you've got some tips to offer them. So let's, uh, let's, let's provide them some, some great tips. Be passionate about anything that you're going to do. And how do you find that passion? First of all, it's got to be something of interest to you for some reason. And uh, when you realize something connects with, when you see an, a niche in the market or something that's not being done well or something you think you can do better, it starts there. So be passionate. Um, tip number two. Um, always have a backup plan. So stay in school, for instance. So if you can go to university or college or a trade school, get that done first. So then you can put yourself out there and try something new that's exciting that you really want to do. And if it doesn't work, you have something to fall back on. And that's really important. And by having something to fall back on, you actually end up empowering yourself to do more and, and take those chances to go out there and try something new. And three, go out and make a difference. Absolutely. Right. So for me, I've always, my experience and my expertise has always been in customer service. So regardless if it was at the Rogers Center providing hostesses or what I'm doing now at Nurse Next Door providing home care, it's about wowing the customer experience and delivering an experience that is over and above what everybody else in the marketplace is doing. So you want to think about how can I do this, what can I do differently, and how can I deliver a service that is better than what is out there. So can you give us an example of how you've um, made a difference in someone's life with Nurse Next Door? Absolutely. Um, I think that when the family says to you that they've got peace of mind because they know that the caregiver that you're providing them with that comes in Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for four hours a day, that they don't need to worry about their mom that day. It also allows the family the time that when they are spending with their loved ones, there's actually um, what we say is we let daughters be daughters. So that the time they're spending with their mother or their father actually is better use of their time for relationship building and things that they want to do than maybe some of the tasks that the caregiver can do for them. We're going to take a quick break, Laura, and that means it's my good to know minute, and I think that's the perfect segue to go into it. Uh, and I know you've got a great success tip. Well, I think the best tip is to be passionate about anything that you do, because if you don't feel it in your heart, it's not going to work. 
Well, Laura, I'm looking forward to seeing what's next, what's, what's after uh, the nurse next door. So um, we'll stay in touch. Well, thank you for being here today and sharing your inspiring story. If anybody wants to find out more information about you and the nurse next door on, on the internet, where do they go? They would go to um, www.nursenextdoor.com or they can call us. And I just want them to know that we're out there and we can help. And your phone number's on the website. Yes. Perfect. Well, thank you again for being here today, and I wish you all the best with all you do. Thank you, Shannon. Well, I've been speaking with Laura Harris. She's the owner-operator of the Nurse Next Door Home Care Services in Toronto Central. Now, if you are interested in finding out more information about past guests, watching past episodes, finding out more about the show, or contacting me, I'd encourage you to visit my website at extraordinarywomentv.com. And Follow me on Twitter. I put lots of updates out there. If you are interested in transforming your life, I hope these stories have inspired you. You've been watching Extraordinary Women TV. I'm Shannon Skinner. See you soon.